they had no actual clue what they just approved. Venezuelan government is going to implement a technology that basically is going to expose them to create a transparent economy in the most corrupt regime in our history. I was proposing to replace our worthless currency with something that has never been made in the history of cryptocurrency. The amazing part about this is that I had the blessing of the dictator. El Petro. Bienvenido, Petro. The Petro was a spearhead and a tool for freedom. But it was a failure, and I ended up losing everything. My name is Gabriel Jimenez. I'm from Venezuela, and I'm an entrepreneur trying to build solutions for the people in my country. Basically, 90% of our revenue as a country overall comes from oil. After Chavez got to power, there was the oil barrel going up. It's basically like winning the lottery. He was spending in social programs too, but also he starts showing off his authoritarian way of dealing with power. And then comes Maduro, and at the same time, the price of the oil barrel crash. The government, in their crisis, they were just printing bolivars. And the economy started to surge on inflation. At the same time, the capital controls were getting tighter for the importers. Meat, milk, corn, toilet paper, it created a huge scarcity in the country. Just like me, Venezuelans were frustrated. Every year was going worse and worse and worse and worse. The people were buying corn flour, toilet paper, diapers, and that was the way that they store their wealth. If the people is using corn flour as currency and toilet paper as currency, the people wouldn't care about using Bitcoin or Ethereum or Dash. The people need something that it works for them. It doesn't matter what. I realized that in my country, nobody was speaking about cryptocurrency, basically because if it's based on freedom or a state that wants to control every aspect of the economy, it's going to be opposed to that. And I started to go very publicly talking about what we could do for our country. In the midst of this public presentations and being on the media, we got contacted by the government to go to the central bank. We were very, very skeptical. We actually thought it was going to be the political police waiting for us. They were curious about all of these solutions that cryptocurrencies could bring. Out of nowhere, a friend sent me a video of Maduro saying that he was approving the Petro. Y quiero anunciar que Venezuela va a implementar un nuevo sistema de criptomoneda, el Petro. I was like completely shocked. And then I texted this official and I asked him, hey, did they tell uh, our project what happened? So he told me, no, they just approve it. right away, they were asking me the most basic questions that show their lack of understanding related to the topic. They had no actual clue what they just approved. So if we actually have the state adopt a cryptocurrency, 
we will implement limits coded into the blockchain. And we will bring this transparency in front of everyone's eyes. So basically we could watch live how the government will be able to move money, how much money the government will be moving and bring that transparency into a very corrupt system. I call out my, all my employees, I call out all my investors, tell them we are stopping everything. We have an opportunity to change our country. And we were trying to do it very, very quick before the state would be able to stop it. The Ministry of Finance threatened to disappear me because I wasn't giving them the white paper. And the very last night, before the release of the picture, they called the guards to point us with guns, force us to keep giving them the documentation and everything that we had. And after that, they removed my authorship. So they basically stole the project. I was declared an enemy of the state. The project failed. I failed. I failed to my investors, to my co-workers, to my family, to everyone. But it was a spearhead. It gave the opportunity to this regularization of the crypto industry within the, in the country. And that was a positive impact. You saw billboards of different exchanges, BOS systems, cell phone with wallets integrated. So we break the glass. I learn from my failures, and I have now way more reasons to try harder and to bring more people to believe in that we, the entrepreneurs, the innovators, can change our country.